hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to be reviewing this software called Creti. so Creti basically it's like figma it allows you to create your ui but here they are coming with some exciting features with the integration of ai into design and how they can just make things easier so for Creti, one advantage of this tool is that it is completely free so for designers my advice here it's um not to you know get too comfortable with just one um software if there are others that can actually do the same thing and uh, with a uh, good pricing on them i think it's good we try them out so let's see what creative offers Creative basically it's free for now. I don't know how long they intend to maintain that. So you can register and uh, download the application to your desktop. They have the options for Windows and the uh, Mac OS. And you can also use it online. I think it's basically like Figma. So this is how the web version looks and uh, no difference with the um, desktop version. And uh, this is my desktop version here so this is the interface and uh, just looks like figma but then a little bit more slick so here if you look they have the community here just like figma i'm comparing this to figma because that's what we've been using for design on this channel so let's open this community and see which, uh, what they have so here i think bef before you can become a contributor you have to submit a request and these are just some of the available files here not bad for someone just starting so um the community i think it's not booming with files like figma but yeah it's a way to start so i'm going back to the home page and uh, we have options to create a new file and uh, you can import your project so that means the files you're working on figma you can easily import them to crazy and you know start working on them i've actually tried using that here and uh, if you notice i have this trust wallet here that was the last tutorial i created before this so you see we have the files here everything works here even our components everything works fine for now so i've tried that and there's no issues with that here so let's go back to the home page and then try to create our file okay let's just quickly come back here and uh, I, I forgot to show you just one thing that excites me here using crazy you can create multiple you know team you can have different team there is no limit to the team number you can actually create for now i haven't created much but i know i can just click here and uh, i have option to create a team and then even add a logo so this is very very exciting for somebody that loves working in group and uh, this is free so let me go back to the file i just created here and uh, you see we have pages basically looks like figma with everything here and uh, let's try to add a page here let's say page two um let's just rename this to let's say whip here a work in progress so i think if you don't know this maybe you've just learned something new so we have whip work in progress and uh, the fun part is that you can actually tag these items with colors so here if you look at the right hand side i can see work in progress blue let's see if we're just starting this i'll just use yellow and uh, if they are completed so let's see completed and uh, i can actually tag them with green here so you see this is actually fun and i like the whole idea of you know having these colors here for each of the files you're working on this is really really nice so let's jump to some of the features here uh, i have the resources which i would just want us to really really look at here because everything is just it's like you're designing and you have everything in just one space so we have options for images and you remember in Figma, we have to use third party plugins like Unsplash, etc., to get our images. So basically, I believe this is also coming from Unsplash. I can't, I've not confirmed that yet, but uh, let's say if I'm looking for, let's say, profile, you'll see some of our popular pictures. You see, some of the pictures you see in Unsplash or the pixels, I just can't remember, but then these pictures look very very familiar so i know they are actually fetching this from somewhere but you know the way they make everything looks you know 
within the app they just build everything within the app so you don't have to like try to outsource to get these images actually these things excites me so let's say i just want to create a profile you see we have all these shape tools basically like figma because i said we're comparing this to figma we've not used any tool on our channel before so but uh so this is we're just comparing this to figma so I might be mentioning like figma like figma and then so now here so i'm a little bit excited so now here um i can just select ellipse and uh, let's hold shift you see same like figma and then pick one of these images so i'm going to pick this here i don't think it's going to sit well on this uh okay it did so voila so now we have this image here and uh this comes with some ai you know features that we can actually utilize so once you click on this image and you see we have options here like the ai image enhancer we can out paint you can try to remove backgrounds we can even try to vectorize an icon you know try to remove those pixels around images so um i've tried most of these things here i can um, assure you they are actually not there but uh, it's good that you know somebody is actually working on this so if we can give them like you know a year i believe most of those futures will be you know perfected so i've tried to uh, remove bg and the rest so there are just some work that need to be done just some little work and then you know this is going to you know work pretty well so i'm just going to close this not to spend much time here and um let's see other things here like the icons here actually this um you know just makes everything easier do i know you can actually add you know some icon packs to your workspace in figma but then this it's built in it comes with the app and uh we have some features and the problem here it's what if i don't want this solid icons do i now okay don't worry about that we have this here just click on this and you see we have our outline icons in just a click so you can change the size of these icons to suit in your project requirements or what you want so you don't have to start okay the way i just grab everything from my quantify sometimes the icon might be you know too large then i have to start resizing them you know just takes this is going to save a lot of time so but um it might be that the type of icon or the icon pack you're using is just not here so this is another downside and uh, one thing i notice is that um crazy at this point they don't have options for plugins so that is like a downside of this so we just have to make do or you just have to import the icon pack from figma and then you know you can use them right here in crazy or anywhere you want to import the icon there are a lot of people creating icons these days so i think that shouldn't be a problem and uh one last thing here is the text version here i, I like this a lot it's just get me excited and uh although we have this in figma you can use there's this fig like an ai that can actually do most of these things here but to get it you know embedded on the app without using third party plugin it's actually exciting so let's say uh we'll press t here let's say i want to add a name to this lady here or for this lady i can actually just click on this you see oh mind you that is just lock here just <laughs> it can just generate maybe a male given name or you know any other given name so it's just not with the, it has nothing to do with the picture there so it's just generating random names that i can actually use for my project and uh let's say i'll just double click oh, sorry duplicate i'll just press ctrl d and then try to drag this i'll do that again so let's say i want a phone number for this person all i need to do is just select this that's not phone number that state i'll select phone number and automatically just going to add that phone number for me i'm pumped i'm really pumped and excited i just like seeing you know people trying to come up with ideas like this to compete because basically i think figma has been there for some time and uh, i really can't say for now that depends on the team and how they do the marketing you know how they put this out there because i, I checked some of their videos it means this thing has been out there i've seen some of the you know one or two persons using this on linkedin but uh you know when i watch uh one of their youtube uh video it got my attention and i'm like okay let me just try this thing out and see what it offers so 
the downside was that the the video I saw the way they use the AI there I tried to use it here and I believe maybe that has not been released to the public that's why I can't assess that same future but uh, I think this is great for you know for start so these are some of the things that you know you can do with this and uh, basically that's actually nothing new that Figma can't do here but uh, you know this one they just have some of the things out of the box and you don't need a third party plugin and uh, let's look at the AI future here so we have the Crazy Wizard here it's actually in a better version here so I don't expect much from it actually it doesn't do much but then it's here already and uh, it's available to the public i've been on the wait list you know to try the figma ai so i was invited to try the ui3 but uh i still haven't gotten access to try the ai out so here let's just try to drag this here and uh basically i said it can just do can't do much so i will search for cat and you see it's just going to give me options for cat here and uh, I can pick any of these, I can list and the rest. So let's just pick one of this here and you see it have just some already pre-built, you know, components that you can actually just use them in your project. So you see, um, basically this is just this here, that's a card. And, uh, and let me just show you some of the limitations. If I should just drag this here and just say, okay, hey, crazy wizard, build an A or a homepage for me. Or let's just use landing page landing page here it's just not going to have anything for me because um there's no options for that so no matching components so i think i believe what they've done here is a set of commands you know that they just store that in their system and then when you type let's say if you can pick one of the words there it's just actually going to you know generate or return back what the all the components they have for that and uh, let's see i'm trying this list and uh, i try to search this what it does is that it's just going to check their system and then you know i'm not like you know the ai is actually building these things here but uh, they are just built already into this and then it just returns it's just like we're searching for something and then you know you're getting this back let's say it's an ai future as they've mentioned earlier but then that's what i feel they, they are already there and then you know they just give you feedback based on what has already been stored there it's not like they are just or they are generated you know by the ai so i feel these are pre-built components so here we have this here and uh we can actually pick a frame so let's just do this and uh pick a frame i'm going to pick the iphone 14 and uh if you're wondering we can actually add everything you can do with figma can be done here so we have options for layout here you see i can go here you remember i always use columns and uh, we can set this to four and the padding i can set that to 16 here and uh, this is great actually because it doesn't feel like i'm using something different and uh, our rulers yes that's the next thing to use your ruler we have this four dots here let's go to views and uh, rulers here i'm going to check this here so now that we have this i can drag this and uh, drop this here let's zoom in and uh, drop this here this is great uh, i'm going to do the same thing i don't know why my cursor is moving just too fast so i'll drag and drop this here as well let's do this okay and uh we can now hide this so i can come back in here and hide this so you see the same thing so let's just drag this because i'm not creating anything new i'll just drag this let me just pick this and then drop this in here for now so and uh i forgot to mention that these items you see here they are fully auto layout so here they are called smart layout so i'll just drag this make sure it's touching this end here and i'll drag this and make sure this is touching this end here so if we select this background here and try to change the fill f a f a f a here so we have something like this not looking too fine to be honest with you but uh let's just try something here let's try to replace these images i'll just come in here i'll set costs let's see if we have costs if we have any options for this okay good so i'll just select this let me just pick this image here so i'm going to select this image that's this one here 
and uh, let's wait good so i'll select this and uh, let's drop this here and uh, i'll do the same thing for this select this my network is a bit slow so um just have to okay we have this so i need to double click to make sure i'm selecting this and i'll just pick this image here and uh, you see you know we're actually building our components that's from the um, ai version of this or from the stored version of what they have for us so but i believe as time goes on they are going to improve on most of those features and um just let me know if you actually want to see me you know build a fully functioning app or maybe some landing page with this you can just indicate in the comment section below and i feel this is a, a good alternative to figma and it has some exciting features here i tell you like this um style guide where you can just generate your you know style guide easily so here we can just select this and uh, you see that's for the brand colors you can add your brand colors and uh, you can even extract this here so it's just going to check what we have here and then try to extract whatever we have there but because i don't have much designs here it might not be able to extract much but you see from what is having the colors there you see it's able to you know generate this style guides for me that you know i can actually use let me just zoom in here you see we have all of this the title of what we have and everything and uh let's go to this other color here and uh, for body now you see we have this you see the fe fe i just added here we we have all of this here and uh these are some of the things that you know really comes handy with this uh, uh this software do some stuff with this and since i can have my figma file here you can even try to import some of your figma files and then you know, try to play with them and uh, see how it works like this component here if i select this component here you see it has some of the properties and uh, you see the state here you see i have different state here which is the gain if i select this you see we have two state the lost here so basically these are just things that you know you can try there's no harm in trying so don't just be you know attached to a software so all these things are tools for us to use so we're not supposed to be attached if there are alternatives that can actually solve the same problem or ease your work and um, save costs you can actually go for those softwares now let's look at this here probably during the import if i select this here and uh let's say i i want to fix this just the way we we do that in figma i'll just come in here double click and you see it's just going to fix that so i i don't see much difference here but uh you see it's um you know it's a welcome idea or welcome development that you know figma will have somebody to compete with so that depends on how good the development team and the marketing teams are but for now, I'll stop here. You want to see me create a full application with this crazy? You can just indicate that in the comment section below. And if you're still not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button.